Why, hello. Hi. Hi. Uh, anyway, today is March the 6th, 2011. Radical Commitment Sunday. It just concluded, and now everyone, Those are my answers right there. Oh, oh, read them. But right now, everybody in the congregation is in Fellowship Hall. For the Missions Fair. For the Missions Fair. We have been challenged for this next year to pray for the entire, the entire world. The entire world. To read through the entire Bible. This to is a big book. Sacrifice my money for a specific purpose. purpose. To spend time in another context, which is the mission work, and then to commit our life to a multiplying community, which is like in a church family. So, why don't you come and follow us? Follow us. You take the picture. Come on. Ready yourself. Go into um, 
the office and work in the office with us. We, we do paperwork, filing, getting baskets together for gifts for patients. And then going into the patient's house, what we're doing is we're basically uh, we're leaving the caregiver for a little while so that they can go out and relax and be uh, their own person and not have to take care of the patient all the time. All right. All right. Daniel and I are here at the Boys and Girls Club. Ed Abound is right here uh, looking up information. Ladies, why don't you explain to us what this is right here? This is the Boys and Girls Club. All right. Now, what do we do here? verse or Bible uh, scripture commitment. That is a whole year. A whole year to figure out how you can completely read the entire uh, Word of God. And then we have the lovely Bidebi Young that is showing us a map of the world in which we'll pray for each country every single week. Tell us every country in Europe. I just know that we're going to pray for one at least one country every week. Year. We have Cheryl Moore here. She is looking. What are, what are you looking at? What are you talking to them about? Why don't you let them explain? Okay, let's camera let them explain. Always been camera shot. Please explain to us what this is, please. Here at One Way Ministry, what we do is we connect people to the world. But he's in the middle of the world. Your church doesn't have the heart. Full-fledged mission ministry. We work for one time to think about how to fulfill this one. Awesome. All right, all right. We can do that nationally and internationally. All right, there you go. We have, we have Renee Kemp asking questions about what is this? This is manna, the meals on wheels from My name is Yvonne Stokes. All right, and so what, so what is this? It's the meals on wheels program. Meals on wheels. We deliver meals to elderly homebound people Monday through Friday. Oh, okay. And her mom actually gets meals. All right, all right. Well, thank you. All right, we have Dr. Jamie Robinson right here. He uh, he is just about to leave the missions fair. Why don't you explain to us uh, your thoughts about how today how today's gone with the mission? I think it was a great success. All right, thank you. Uh, we have the wonderful Lana Fernandez. Our church organist. Uh, United Way. So can you explain to us what you're what you're talking to Lana about? David Elliott is talking to John Mark's father right now about the Gadsden Etowah County Emergency Man Management Agency. Let's listen in. So, why don't you explain to us what you're telling John Mark's father right now? All right. This is, I'm with Emergency Management, EMA. We are currently, though, we are pushing Community Emergency Response Team. We have sessions coming up at the end of March, 1st of April. That's it's 18 hours of training. And the purpose for CERT is to help your neighbor in the time of real disaster. All right. And there's not enough firemen, medics, EMTs to go around to get to everybody. And you can go over and check your neighbor down the street, across the street, until 
the professionals get there. When they get there, then if they need your assistance, you're quick to help them. All right, right here we have Linda Reynolds, volunteer from Adderall Free Community Clinic. Right. Yeah, that's awesome. I mean, uh, I agree with Dick Hill. Okay, right. that's oh, okay. Hey. I'm Dean Sadler, I'm the executive director of Adderall Free Community Clinic. We're over here looking for some volunteers today, and I see my number four right there. <laughs> <laughs> we are with the Ford family, who uh, who was just at the coat drive for West Virginia team. Everything was set up nicely here for everyone here that God is speaking to. An opportunity to see what kind of areas that the Lord may put their heart in order to be able to serve in this radical experience. So, uh, a lot of opportunities here that we've looked at and continue to look at. And, uh, very worthy ministry opportunities. And I'm sure the Lord's going to uh, lay on the hearts of all of our members where they can serve. All right, well, thank you, John Mark, giving cups out to the Keenum boys, father and son, Larry and Drew. Uh, why don't you explain to us uh, your thoughts on how today went here at the Missions Fair? There is a wonderful opportunity. Oh yeah, all right. Short and simple. Uh, we have officially wrapped up today's uh, mission fair. Everything looks great. Thanks to everybody who helped out. This has been a wonderful, we wonderful want, experience. We want, to, we want to give a special thanks to DJ Metz, who was our, our camera guy. today. And our, our special Where's Waldo. Our, our professional lurker right here. <laughs> John Mark Jones. Uh, this, is, this is Daniel Roberts and Philip Hall saying... Stay classy to our streets.